If you're wondering what a warm fall means for the fall colors, we are too. And meteorologist Rob Leidick is here with a look at this year's fall foliage forecast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't say that too many times fast. <laughs> All right, many leaves actually started changing early this season. Why? Well, different factors impact how fast those leaves change, how vibrant the colors will be, and how long they'll last before they fall. Basically, how stressed the tree will be. So first and foremost, temperature swings. And we've had our fair share of those temperatures in the 90s and then down all the way to the upper 30s last weekend. Sunlight, which has been much of a problem until the past few days. However, it has been abnormally dry in parts of our area. Ideally, you want to see average temperatures, some rain, but not too much, and little to no wind. So the trees were stressed and started to change early. But they slowed or stopped, especially with more typical fall weather for most of the week. All that said, I think we're right on track to see peak foliage when we normally do in mid-October, possibly starting as early as next week in many places. But it may not be as vibrant, and with some of those windy days ahead this weekend, it may not last long. Here are some places you might want to check out if you're going to enjoy the foliage this fall. Acres Land Trust has many preserves throughout the area. Check out Bicentennial Woods in Huntertown or many others. I talked to the folks at Pokagon State Park today, and they're seeing some moderate color right now. Lindenwood Nature Preserve can be a tapestry of color this time of year. And the Salamone State Forest has some nice trails with waterfalls. If you're going to be enjoying the fall colors, don't forget to send us some snapshots at photos at wayne.com or using the reported feature on our apps. In studio, Rob Leidick, News Channel 15.